Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to create a powerful triple exposure photo portrait from three separate images. I provided a folder in which they're placed into. Its link is in my video's description or project files. Once you download the folder, simply click on each image inside the folder to open them. These images are just examples in which you can apply the steps to create your own customized triple exposure photo portrait. Before we begin, if you want to be notified as soon as I upload new Photoshop tutorials, click that subscribe button. The first step is to separate our subject from its background. There are various ways to do this depending on the version of Photoshop you're using. In version CC 2020 and later, unlock the background and open the Properties panel. If you don't see it, go to Window and Properties. Click Remove Background. Photoshop automatically isolates the subject and creates a layer mask of it, which masks out the background behind it. Think of layer masks as stencils. White reveals and black conceals. In earlier versions of Photoshop, open the Quick Selection tool and drag it over your subject to select it. If you need to remove areas of the selection, press and hold Alt or Option as you drag the tool over those areas. Click the Layer Mask icon to make a layer mask of the selection. We'll convert our visible image into a smart object so we can modify it non-destructively. To do this, click the icon at the upper right and click Convert to Smart Object. We'll make a new layer below it by Control or Command clicking the New Layer icon. We'll fill it with white, but before we do, check your foreground and background colors. If they're not black and white respectively, press D on your keyboard. Since our background color is white, press Control or Command plus Delete. Make the face profile active. Click the Adjustment Layer icon and click black and white. Open the preset list and click maximum black. Open the adjustments panel. If you don't see it, go to window and adjustments. Click the levels icon. In this panel, we can adjust the image's intensity of shadows, midtones, and highlights. Make the input shadows 40, and the input highlights 70. Before we continue, please take a moment to click like if you're liking this video. Open the tree image I provided. We'll place it onto our face profile document by pressing Ctrl or Command A to select the tree and Ctrl or Command C to copy it. Open back the face profile and press Ctrl or Command V to paste the tree onto it. Control or Command click the thumbnail of the face profile to select its shape. Click the layer mask icon to make a layer mask of the selection next to the active layer. Before we position the trees, we need to see the shape of the face profile under it so we can determine where we'd like to see the trees relative to the face. To do this, we'll temporarily decrease the density or opacity of the layer mask. In the Properties panel, Drag the density to approximately 50%. Click the chain link between the trees and the layer mask. This unlinks them, which allows us to resize and or reposition either of them independently of the other. We want to position the trees, so we'll make the trees active. Open your Move tool and make sure Auto Select isn't checked. This will prevent the layer mask from becoming active when we click on our document. Press and hold the Shift key as we drag the trees to the left to approximately here because I like the position of these three groups of branches. Make the layer mask active and increase its density back to 100%. Open your brush tool and invert the colors by pressing X on your keyboard so black is your foreground color. Open the brush picker. Pick a soft, round brush. We'll adjust the brush's size in a moment. The hardness is 0%, the opacity is 80%, and the flow is 100%. To adjust the size of the brush, make sure the Caps Lock key is off and press the right or left bracket key on your keyboard. 
Make it approximately this size. Brush over the edge of the profile to reveal the face. If you want to reveal back some of the trees, press X to invert your foreground and background colors and brush over the trees to reveal them back. To reveal the trees outside the shape of the profile, start with an opacity of 100%. Brush over the areas outside the profile to reveal back the trees. Continue to finesse the blending of the face with the trees using various brush sizes and opacities as well as inverting the colors as you desire to reveal and mask out areas. Open the bird's image. Press V to open your move tool and drag the birds onto the tab of the face portrait. Without releasing your mouse or pen, drag it down and release. Change its blend mode to multiply. Position it approximately here. Click the layer mask icon to make a layer mask next to the bird's layer. We'll brush black over the layer mask to mask out the birds we don't want. Open the pencil tool and invert the colors so black is our foreground color. Make its size 35 pixels and brush over the birds you want to hide. Click the Adjustment Layer icon and click Solid Color. In the hexadecimal field, type in D, A, F, 6, F, F to pick a very light blue. I'll show you how to change the color in a moment. Change the Blend Mode to Color. Double click the color box to open back the color picker. Tick the S for saturation and drag the picked color to the right or left to pick a different color with the same degree of color saturation. To increase or decrease the intensity of the color, click back on the hue and drag the picked color to the right or left. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.